Food at the football is becoming a little bit of a trend, isn't it? Especially when everyone's trying to get the food that they bought at the football on Footy Scram. An account that does serious numbers and quite clearly people are interested in football and food. Now I can't lie, I've done the miles, haven't I? And the burger has become an absolute staple for me when I go. As far as I'm concerned, I've tasted the best, but I need to go back just to verify. Welcome to another Football Revisited. This one's back at Tunbridge Angels, where we're going to see what's changed in the last four years. Hopefully not too much on the burger front. So first job is to pick up Charlie. As I reach the old manor that is Grey's, with Robbie Williams blaring out, I spot one of my primary school teachers from 30 years ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! She's still alive! As I wonder how that can possibly be, Beyonce has given me the green light to head through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through, apart from myself, of course, and those people waiting on the other side. To continue the journey, I realise we need a new holder for the camera. And then it's a swing round into the complex to pick up the man, the man they call Charlie. Here's me trying to ring my long-term friend to let him know Miss Oxley is still alive. So instead, it's WhatsApp to tell him the good news. Meanwhile, out comes Charlie. He's looking for me old car still. He's found it. You look nice. Oh, bank robber. You look good. You look cool. Starting route to Tunbridge Angels Football Club. So heading to Cairn, which means we've got to go over the bridge, and the bridge costs £2.50. But of course, this ain't on the road, so don't worry about whacking it on the screen. Oh, go on then. About 45 minutes later, there's a sign on the left for Tunbridge, which means we're obviously in Tunbridge. The first thing I see is a beef eater. We will definitely be beef eaters today. Just not a beef eater. No beef at beef eater. Well, there might be some beef. Graham's gone and ordered half a char grilled chicken, hasn't he? It's been 45 minutes. The rest of the family's food is here. And I'm told they've got manners so they don't start eating until everyone's food is on the table. Another 10 minutes goes by. Their food's getting cold. And now we've got beef. Graham's pissed off. Is this security a beef eater? I'm not sure, but beef eater actually class themselves as a steak restaurant. And before criticizing Graham on his chicken order at a steak restaurant, I do need to know if there's dietary requirements. He might not eat red meat. We could go back to our last visit, look who it is, it's Graham with a, with a sausage. He might actually not eat red meat. Apologies, Graham, being you was about to have beef. I mean, who orders chicken from a steak restaurant? Graham does, because he doesn't eat red meat. It's a perfectly legitimate order. 45 minutes is far too long. Look at the family. Beef eater, I want discounts.com forward slash give him the food. Moments later, we're checking our left for Tunbridge Sports Ground. And welcome to the complex. I wonder if we parked in the same space as last time. Well, we definitely went over this hump, didn't we? Check. Then we chucked the next right, didn't we? Check. Then we sprang around here in front of this bush and there was a tree to the right of it. What about today? Can this really be happening? Blink it back. So we last came here, 13th of September 2019. I actually thought it was a lot further back than that, but it will be four years this year. Four years in September. We are in January, though. Yeah, 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 but it's, 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 time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Chaz went for the vegetarian option last time, so this is the first time he's going to be trying the the beef burger. He's already eaten it. He said it was that nice, he's going to go and get another one. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to have it again, but I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like, it, you know, what if it doesn't deliver? I've been banging on about this for the last three and a bit years. I've never seen anyone rave about this burger before. Will you double back again if it is that good again? Oh, mate, yeah, if it's, if it's good before the game, you go back at half time. The tea shack for the second time. We wait patiently for the second time. We admire the priceless for the second time. And we've only got to go burgers for the second time. All right. All I can remember from him is that it was succulent. Oh, so juicy. So juicy. Full of flavour. So juicy. Lego. So good thing about coming back to Grand, you see what's been developed and this coffee shop was not here. The turnstiles certainly were, but if my memory serves me right, they were lacking some sound. Hang on a second. That didn't seem right to me. No noise, no nothing, no kank, 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 kank. That was my poor impression of a turnstile. But guys, back to 2023, there seems to be some improvements as I'm invited into the Grand as if I'm a seven-year-old at soft play. And in you go. Look at that. Champions. The improvements continue. Obviously, a few years ago, we had a grass pitch, didn't we? But today, we're talking plastic. For any non-league club, this is absolutely golden. It's a seven-day hire. Get that money rolling in. It's stability at its finest. Ah, there it is. Hopefully, Amy's on the grill, and hopefully, we get the same burger today. Over the other side, we've got a puck of pie shack. I didn't see it last time around. Can't confirm if that's a change or not, but we won't be going there today. Do you like me a latte? Do you want a latte or a beer? Because I've heard good things about the beer over there. They've got a marquee. You've heard good things about the beer. Does it taste different in different? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. Welcome <laughs> to the marquee, where the beer may taste different to other places. Again, this area of the ground is new. Foosball too. I offered Charlie a game, but he didn't want this smoke. Just like Kevin Manchester, running theme. Strict rules about dance floors. If you walk across one, you've got to have a little bop. I've just been joined by Ross from Tunbridge Angels. He's going to tell us more about the improvements. We've done a lot of work on investing in the pitch, investing in our facilities. Uh, we laid the artificial 3G surface over the summer, which allows us to get seven days of use out of it. Um, we get kids on there every day of the week. We've got six-a-side uh, tournaments happening all the time. So it's a really good revenue generator for us. We've invested heavily playing squad as well, um, really trying to push towards the National League, we think we can do it, um, there's a good feel around the place. Love it, love it. And uh, how long have you been here for? I've been here as general manager six months, but I've been coming here for 15 years as a fan. So it's, it's Did you see the previous video that we did? did indeed, yes. And the big question is, are the burgers going to be as good? We haven't changed anything about the burgers, um, I hope they're as good as they were, uh, I like them. So it, it, it was it was Amy last time. It was Amy last time. Is Amy still here? Amy's not here anymore. I'm afraid no. Sarah's here, and Sarah's wonderful. So right, we're I'm gonna confident. have to go and see Sarah. Chaz, you're just loitering in the background there. Did you get a beer? Huh? Do you want a beer? Because I heard they're good. 
<laughs> Amy's not here. No. Sarah's here though. Just as good apparently. Does she have better baps than Amy? <sighs> I don't know. Well, before checking out Sarah's baps, Charlie's gonna have a beer. Not Tunbridge Angels, Kenny Shower. It's actually Moretti, and it's paid for by Ross in the background there. What a guy! Everyone, quick, get down to Tunbridge. Everything's on Ross. We sat back down, and Charlie looks like he's got an onion on his head. We're gonna have a swap, and there's a swap. Still suits him. I look like garlic clove. <laughs> that, that scarf changes your whole look. Charlie thinks I'm a hipster. Meanwhile, what's the Moretti like? This is really good beer. Angel's opponents today are Braintree. Slight kick clash there. Although this Photoshop mock-up shows Tunbridge in their home and Braintree in their way. It's not going to happen. There you go, my friend. Oh, We're all doing it. There they are. There's the boys. There's the boys. There's the boys. We'll talk to you. Come here. Come here. Just found the owner of Tunbridge Fan TV. If you're a Tunbridge fan and you don't know about Tunbridge Fan TV, what the hell are you doing? How's that? How's that really good beer? It's really good. It's really good here. They serve good beer. All right, lads and ladies, this is it. The moment I've been waiting for. And we're absolutely in the house for t shack queue. Last time around, they had Dr. Pepper and a very well presented board. This time around, still very well presented. Oh, we've got a break in. Over here, this gives me confidence. Another well presented board. But look at it. It's all about the burgers. As I say last time around, it was all about the double chinny burger, a burger named after Chinny McKenzie. Very popular player here. The equivalent to that now is the Hungry Henley. Two quarter pound of burgers at five quid. No change in the price. Tunbridge stick two fingers up at the sight of inflation. <laughs> Tom's gone for the quarter pounder. I'm wondering if he wants some more burger with his sauce. On the topic of sauce, Charlie should put mustard and barbecue sauce on his burger. <laughs> What do you mean what? Anyway, it is here. I'm such a foodie and I can't tell you how much I'm excited for this. So here's Charlie's burger. He's gone for the sunny stacker. It's basically mine with bacon in it. And of course, barbecue on top and mustard at the bottom. Vegetarian last time round. Beef this time round. I pray this is good. I pray. Now that the copyrighted music's gone off, Chaz, you you're in, aren't you? Oh, yeah. So soft. So succulent. <laughs> Flavours. So now, following Charlie's positive burger review, I give you the steadiest shot of the day. That's because I balance the camera on the fence. I'm currently devouring the burger myself. Been other news, it's Tunbridge in the blue and Braintree not in their home kit of orange and white. They didn't bring it. They brought their away kit, which clashes. So what's this, you ask? It's Tunbridge's away kit. It's non-league football at its finest. One of these days, Lionels are going to realise that there's plenty of holes in the net. But for now... All right, let's walk down the other end because that's where Tunbridge is shooting towards. And we'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Good turnout today for non-league. Plenty of bods here and plenty of bods up here. Meanwhile, Charlie's having a great time. Over the other side, I found a bin with a convenient hole in it for cat. No, no, it's not going to fit. Meanwhile, Charlie's determined to make it fit. Not quite. Oh, it's and now it appears to be stuck. There's one man in the brain tree kit today, and it is the keeper. He was ready. <laughs> A break in place, he's Charlie Wack opening his FIFA app. Oh, FIFA. I'm 10 years old. I recognise this camera. Looks like Dave on photos with his massive lenses here. He's here to get the shot. Yeah! Dave on photos now talking about money shots. The money shot. It's one of these. Yeah, definitely got the money shot there. Plenty more money shots today, please, Dave. He's number two, just because. And believe it or not, I've seen enough of this first half. Let's go get front of the queue for another burger. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kind of cool. We're not going to miss a goal, are we? Ooh. Hot chocolate, anything more than £1.50 is a bit of a joke. Hey, for town in the Essex Senior League. Straight over the bar. Anyway, what are you doing, mate? What strange behaviour? I'm just trying to order another Henley burger. What's the name? Fat Matt and Fat Charlie. So, Tumbridge Angels. It's officially, it's officially <laughs> number one for most burgers consumed in one, well not in one, but in, in, in one club. Eight, isn't it? Eight burgers now in... But then the burgers were doubles as well, so... Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, we had 16 burgers. 16 burgers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. We've got napkins, we've got burgers, and we've got a spot in the other terrace ahead of the second half. Mmm. <laughs> Quick run down the rules down here. No cigarettes or vapes, chewing gum, ball games. How's this work? Very strange. One rule I don't agree with is dogs. Assistant dogs permitted, of course, but um, you need a dog at the football. That is half time and confirmation that both home and away kits are on show for Tunbridge today. And this filled up very quick. Glad we got our spot. Just dropped my admission ticket. And viewer of the channel, Ryan's come over. It's definitely Ryan, but I called him Ryan. Hello. Certain Ryan, you had a burger? Yeah, good. And just like that, players make their way back out onto the plastic pitch. Since then, Charlie's made some sort of hook device out of our ticket. Oh, he's not going to do it, is he? He's not. Who remembers Coventry? Then on the road, viewer Zach and Ben come to say hello. hello. Is that someone putting a fork in Zach's hood? Yeah, I can confirm someone's put a Falking Zach's hood. Did you just put Falking Zach's hood? <laughs> oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. We're going to get in trouble one day. No, don't do it, Chaz. Honestly, I've got nothing to do with this. I wouldn't spur him on. Oh, you want to hook it on, don't you? Yeah, you want to hook it on. You go again. And so Charlie crosses a stronger bend, and the second half kicks off. Oh, 
A ball! A ball! It's all gone wrong! <laughs> oh no! Good start from the home side! Get your nut on it! Oh. Bang! There you go! Oh. Nice keeper's not taking any crap, he's just gonna give it straight back! I'd say, you're in Kent! You can't do that! You said it to me! That, that, that's not the point! You can't say that to people! He said it to me! There's children here! The kid then gets called Jesus! Because obviously, Jesus is the only long-haired bloke out there. The guy that said it actually had no hair, so jokes on him. And I said, oi! Oi! Oi, Elijah Wood from Lord of the Rings of Fellowship of the Ring in 2001! The comeback would have still been the same. Should we crack on with the video? Oh, no! It should be 1-0. Oh, 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 oh. But it stays 0-0. At least we get to see a digital sub spoil, that's always good. But I can't help but think we've come for a 0-0. Oh, no. In other news, we made it onto the Tunbridge Angels Instagram, and now we're back down here discussing the length of hair again. How many minutes had he done? Seven! Strictly a joke. It's not even a joke. It's just, it's just what they say sometimes. You lads taking the wrong turn. Dunley Jamal is at least an hour away. Last minute penalty. Hey! Hey! Was that seven minutes? I don't think that was seven minutes, was it? I mean, it's probably seven minutes. Time just goes so fast when you're having fun and eating burgers. For anyone concerned about my health, by the way, I get up at half five every single morning before the kids, go for a mile run, come back and breakfast lunch and dinner is always healthy so uh, i get to treat myself at the weekend at least that's what i should be saying to you i, I don't i'm far from it but uh, i will look to look after myself don't worry did anyone ask though smith i don't think they did what are you doing anyway we're out of here hope you enjoyed this revisited obviously there's still hundreds of grounds out there that serve burgers but 100 percent so far the best burger i've had in non-league football in football in general in fact is tunbridge angels go there try it out you will not be disappointed i promise you if you enjoyed this one show your appreciation by dropping a like it does me a massive favor and uh make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i'll see you in the next one